गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज विनीत पांडे एंड टूडे वी गो नॉट डिस्कस मॉडर्निज्म मॉडर्न एज लिटरेचर यू नो वेन आई वॉज अ स्टूडेंट सो इवन एट लाइक आवर टाइम्स वी वॉज केयर ऑफ मॉडर्न एज पोस्ट मॉडर्न एज लिटरेरी थ्योरी एंड एवरी थिंग एल्स विच इज यू नो पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर वन थ्योरी पोस्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर वन टू थ्योरी सो वॉट हैपन्स एक्चुअली वेन द स्टूडेंट कम्स फ्रॉम अ स्टेट बैकग्राउंड स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी बैकग्राउंड this actually happens that uh, we are not taught in a proper way like uh, i tell you my own uh, preparation level so uh, my teacher asked us that do you want to study literary theory or you want to study uh, oscar wilde's famous uh, work importance on being earnest and before we could decide because for us both of those were the new uh, you know both of those uh, Yes, Mr. Mahmood Shafi from Pakistan. I mentioned it in my last class that one of my student from Pakistan has qualified uh, PPSC, Pakistan Public Service Commission. I know you have got it. You deserve it. You deserve success because uh, your curiosity to learn took you across the border. Like you know, you are so much eager to learn. You wanted to learn. You are so much curious after knowledge. that you found me started discussing your questions your uh, you know your questions were very scholarly i remember your question through facebook and finally you nailed it so all the blessings to you best of luck improve the standard of english literature in pakistan and keep sharing your knowledge with us thank you now let's get back to modern literature modern age so uh, you know this is the problem in college education that the teachers sometimes they don't teach in a proper way sometimes because you know they themselves never had the idea have you ever wondered that modernism high modernism ultra modernism post modernism neo modernism these are some multiple terms if i ask a student coming from a very normal college background normal university background and if i ask the student that tell me the difference between the moderns ultra moderns post moderns neo moderns are the literature after world war 1 or literature after world war 2 so generally it becomes really hectic to uh, you know answer these things so right now in this particular session as the exams are close exams are approaching i will tell you uh, to uh, you know oh my god wo wo okay so date has been extended thank god unhone mail samare liye so so i have mailed them along with me thousands of student have mailed them to extend the date a lot of students could not fill the form so that's really good it's a great news for all of you fill the form now theek hai कोई बात नहीं इट्स योर विक्ट्री इसको ज्यादा खुश होने की जरूरत नहीं है असली विक्ट्री हमारी जे आर एफ की है द रियल विक्ट्री इज जे आर एफ ओके सो लेट्स गेट बैक टू द टॉपिक इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट राइटर्स ऑफ मॉडर्न एज वॉट टू रीड इन दोज राइटर्स हाउ टू रीड दोज राइटर्स एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज मॉडर्निज्म देर आर सम प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन यूट्यूब बाई मी एंड यू कैन सिंपली ओके तुषार थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर टेलिंग मी That the last date has been extended 30th May. एथ में बहुत सारे लोगों ने मुझे बोला था कि तुम तो कुछ भी बोलते हो मैंने उनको कहा था आई टोल्ड देम दैट दे के नॉट कंडक्ट एग्जाम इन फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून सेकेंड वीक ऑफ जून एनी वे बट दैट कम्स विद एक्सपीरियंस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर क्रिटिसाइजिंग मी दैट वाई डू यू कीप सींग दैट दे के नॉट कंडक्ट एग्जाम दे के नॉट कंडक्ट एग्जाम एनी वे बट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लिटरेचर बिकॉज यू नो अराउंड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर हेयर टू वॉच लिटरेचर and it's not a big thing if i am proved right i always go on facts and people who go on facts are 99% right right so koi baat nahi chalo first thing in modern age when you read modern age go for a <coughs> bridge between the victorians and the early moderns make sure you remember that the victorian writers and early modern writers are very important how many of you have read charles reed r e a d e charles reed Charles Reed is very important writer he has written cloister of earth he is one of the first writer who made a bridge between victorians and moderns read that guys very important he had a habit of converting his novels into plays plays into novels then second thing what you have to read is don't forget to read h g wells herbert george wells one of the first early writer of victorian age and moderns most of his books got published around 1890s to 1920s he is father of science fiction after that cyberpunk will come cyborg literature will come this is very very important read time machine make sure you read that read invisible man read war of the worlds 
in net exam there is a has been a question that who is the hero in invisible man a man who experiments in the lab becomes invisible thinks that now invisibility is my power he disappears so he thinks that let's you know use this power you know we also think that what can we do if we are invisible like sometimes i used to think if i am invisible i will go to the bank and take a lot of money and buy chocolates when i was a kid i think that i would think that so that's very important griffin is the character is very very important then in time machine they have asked this thing that the boy who goes for time travel he finds a new tribe what is the name of the tribe that has been asked in net exam eloy and then he finds a girl there veena her character has been asked in exam and then he takes veena and comes to future where he sees that future has the destruction of earth they may ask you that with the time machine he goes 3000 years in future and what does he see there you will find it out that in future 3000 years he sees the destruction of earth these questions can be asked to you then we have r l stevenson one of the first person who introduced arabian nights in english arabian nights in english yes travels with a donkey is very important the tales from aladdin very important el dorado kgf how many of you remember kgf el dorado r l stevenson has written an essay called el dorado <clears throat> so el dorado is land of gold so when you watch a uh, kgf remember this thing that it has a connection with english literature did with these writers read most important writer very very important writer j m berry j m berry is one of the first writer to discuss supernaturalism heroic style fiction the superhero kind of fiction he wrote peter pan i know most of the students have not even heard about it that's the reason bachche exam mein fail ho jate hain because what they think modern means virginia wolf modern means james joyce modern means d h lawrence modern means eats orden eliot yes they are moderns but if you just know only them not the early moderns the high moderns the post moderns the other writers of modernism then you cannot qualify an exam called net for net exam you need to know each and everything in and out sab padhna hai abhi question dekho j m berry peter pan who is peter pan a comics hero he you know in in, uh, in european countries peter pan is read in the schools Peter Pan is a boy who decides not to grow up. He never grows up. He has powers to fly. He can disappear. He can, you know, telepathically contact people. He is a hero, just like the Indian Doordarshan version of a, a small kid. He becomes a hero. Junior G. When I was doing uh, some research reading on this thing, I found that the Peter Pan has inspired Indian Doordarshan DD one. to perform junior ji one school uh, school boy he finds some kind of stone and becomes a powerful man now peter pan has a direct connection with the german writers famous book gunter grass german writer 1999 nobel award and uh, his famous work dengin trilogy uh, tin drum he has a direct connection there peter pan ka direct connection hai the boy oscar marries he also decides not to grow up and then this happens so if you do not read gm berry you going to face it now my friends the next writer that you have to read is arnold bennett arnold bennett see i am telling you all the writers which are important but mostly the students who are in the state universities or distant universities or non college education they generally don't get these kind of informations and these informations are not also available in market guide books arnold bennett's famous work old wives tale two sisters sophia constance they eloped in early age and they are meeting each other approx 50 years baad 50 saal ke baad do behne mil rahe hain they both are old hags clumsy they are recalling their life the book is divided in four parts then the role of the mother role of sophia role of constance and the last is that has been asked in net exam what is the title of the last book the last book's title is what is life then same writer he has written clay hanger trilogy helda lesways you have to read these things anna of five towns these questions have been asked in net exam i suggest you to write down these names if you are new students please write down these names second thing 
How many of you are prepared with Irish writers? Now, when we talk about Irish writers in modernism, dealing with Irish revolutions, Easter rising, talking about Irish culture, the first and the most important writer is J.M. Singe. J.M. Singe, very important writer. The famous book, Riders to the Sea, very important book. Riders to the Sea, story of a lady, Moria. She has lost some of her kids in the ocean. She lives there. There is a water body in front of her house. She is like, it's a kind of, you know, there is a kind of uh, lake or some ocean in front of her house. And out of five or six kids, like uske paanch or chai bachche hain, unme se chaar ya paanch doob gaye. Like almost all of those kids, they have drowned in the same water. What will happen if some family faces something because of one thing? All of kids drowning in the same water, but she doesn't leave. It's her courage, it's her faith, it's her having, uh, you know, uh, uh, emotions, having faith that something is fair, something is right. And I must accept destiny as it is. She doesn't leave her house. People say, leave this house. This house is not lucky for you. Your kids are drowning in front of water. Why don't you leave and go to some other place when there is no water? But she doesn't leave. Moria, very important character. If you didn't know it, then read it. Because all of these people who are writing here, they're online students, they are prepared. That's why they say that, why these are people are qualifying. They are prepared. Now, the next thing that you have to read from the same writer, Playboy of the Western World. All the online students, 10 seconds, write the name of the hero. 10 seconds, they are coming. Who is the hero of the Playboy of the Western World? Jitne bhi Vinitians hai. Jitne bhi Vinitians hai. Kisti Mahan, bohat badia, bohat badia, bohat badia. That's very, very important thing. Tiger also has joined my class. Tiger has come. I'm telling you, just then Tiger and net exam, they are He listens to my maximum lectures. No, no. Now, see, this is why this is important. What happens, one of the, you know, they will not ask you the direct question in exam. They will not say, oh, who, who has written Playboy of the Western World? So you will say, James Hinge. If they ask you, then this question is easy for everyone. So pray they don't ask you the easy question. Pray they ask you the questions which are in a roundabout way, in an indirect way. They will simply say, pick the writer who has written a book where we have the satire on hero worship in the background of Dublin, Easter Rising. Easter Rising was a rebel against the government, against the Britishers. Easter Rising, the husband of Lady Mordgon died. Easter Rising, 1916, WB Eats has written a poetry. Easter Rising gave multiple heroes who died for the nation. When J.M. Singe wrote Playboy of the Western World, he celebrated those good people, but also questioned that some wrong people are being highly worshipped. Some wrong people are highly getting celebrated. Hero worship is a wrong thing. For example, tell me this thing, you know, we go to watch movie in cinema hall. We see Akshay Kumar there. It's an advertisement. And uh, in the famous, uh, you must have seen that advertise. He finds one man smoking outside the hospital. Akshay Kumar says, what are you doing? He says, my wife is suffering from some problem. And uh, then he says, oh, your wife is suffering from problem and you are smoking. And this rupee cigarette can uh, help you to buy sanitary pads for your wife. So instead of buying sanitary pads for your wife, why are you smoking? Das rupee ka this. And he says, see, maut likhi hai maut. He speaks this thing in Hindi. A cigarette ke dabbe pe maut likhi hai maut. And we are like, wow, our hero, wow, wow, wow. Oh, great man, wow. Yes. But in the second advertisement, I find him with Shah Rukh Khan, Ajay Devgan doing like this, Juba Kesari. Why? So somewhere you are saying leave cigarette and uh, buy sanitary pads for your wife. And then in the second video, you are doing like this. What's that? So that's what he said. Question this thing. The fake hero worship. The fake hero worship. Preeti Gaur, kya age hai aapki? Preeti Gaur ne likha hai. I'm the youngest online student. If you are 17-16, you are the youngest. Otherwise, my graduation students have joined the net. 
there were some two three students they were preparing for like madly for literature so they were like some the netty padenge net level so that's what i want to say when this book was published it was an attack on fake hero worship the character kristi mahan comes to a village and says that i am a hero i killed my father i killed my father and uh my father was a tyrant my father was a bad man he was doing atrocities so i had to fight back i am a man who cannot tolerate injustice and i killed my father the villagers take him like wow you are a hero you killed your own father you fought against your own father because your father was doing injustice you are our hero he becomes the hero after some months when he is already a hero there are some gaon ki gauris they are in love with him you know this happens a boy comes to the village with a great story and the girls are in love with him oh he is the hero he is the hero idol man one day a man comes in that village looking for christy mahan so people say who are you why are you looking for our hero he says he is not hero at all he is my son he was disobedient womanizer lusty person i was scolding him to join my business i was scolding him to behave so what did he do he hit me with a spade mere sar pe kuch maar diya usne he hit me with a spade and i became unconscious he ran away from the village because he knew i will beat him so technically what happens the villagers they get to know that our hero is not a hero he is a worst person he ran away hitting his own father and all of a sudden his image drops his image gets spoiled that's the attack on very important thing remember this very important all those who are taking notes please write this thing this very important thing it was an attack on hero worship and when the play was performed on the stage the riots started in dublin is play ne dange karwa diye the ireland ke andar ye yaad rakhna the person who you know i should say the book they may ask you the question that name the famous book from irish literature which performed which got performed on stage and resulted in the riots in dublin playboy of the western way dange ho gaye the dublin mein is ek play ki wajah se imagine this thing so why this is very important and when the riots happened in dublin as one of my student prerna joshi has mentioned it yes wb aids he supported the writer he supported the book and he criticized public saying that we are making fun of our irish genius we are making fun of thank you king saying thank you aapka teen bar net hai bhagwan kare is baar jrf ho jaye aapka aur wo meri wajah se nahi hua hai wo aapki wajah se hua you attend the class you listen what to do you follow it so it's you mera kaam sabko padhana hai right now there are 222 students so some of them will take me seriously some of them can take me lightly some of them are also getting multiple guidances you know it gets hodgepodge when you are sailing in one boat sail in one boat multiple boats drown, drown you so if you listen to me obviously qualify ho jayega my intention is to make you qualify your success is my success why would people call me vinith pandey because of your results right so get back now the next book that you have to read is a very important book ye bahut zaruri hai samuel butler very important book the way of all flesh very important thing a novel which satirizes victorian moralities pontifex family question of net exam that which family is the center pontifex family this is the center of the story it is a proper satire on victorian idealism victorian morality there was a question in net exam that find two books which are the criticism of victorian life and then this happened he wrote way of all flesh which is a satire on victorianism he also wrote one famous utopian work erwon e r e w h o n erwon write the spelling on your copy e r e w h o n and now think can you make a proper word with this thing and online students start answering come on which word is made by erwon jisko jisko lectures yaad hai Langenam Kami, very good. Nowhere, बहुत बढ़िया. Very good. Saurav Hazra Shabash, nowhere. Yes, Olivia, always my one of best student. Malika, बहुत बढ़िया. Sikta, Arunachal से मेरी best student है. बहुत बढ़िया. Yes, it's nowhere. So Erwan is nowhere. Now what happens in this book? All the characters, their names start from the backside. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फेमस फीमेल कैरेक्टर मैरी एम ए आर वाई मैरी हर नेम इन द बुक इज एम ए आर वाई वाई आर ए एम यम हर नेम इज यम वायरम सो दिस यू नो दे मैं आस्क यू क्वेश्चन दैट नेम द राइटर हु रोट अ बुक विद टेक इन ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स हुज नेम वॉज स्पेल फ्रॉम द बैक साइड these are questions these uh, writers are not taught nobody teaches these things and that's why student mess it ervon is one of the best work called utopian work also becomes the part of the lost world fiction underline karke likh lo usko lost world fiction famous writer h rider haggard h dot r i d e r rider h a d g a r d h rider haggard is called father of lost fiction genre H. Rider Haggard is called father of lost, you know, lost uh, world fiction. Lost generation मत करना. Lost generation was coined by Gertrude Stein. ठीक है. Lost generation was coined by Gertrude Stein, used by Hemingway and others. Remember this thing. Thank you, Sandeep ji. Thank you. Now, along with these writers, the modern writers, how many of you have actually prepared? Seen O Casey, another Irish writer. Juno the Peacock is a must-read book. One person who thinks that he's suffering from poverty, his girl is, his daughter is in love with a rich man. So he thinks that the rich man has no parentage, no family, and uh, a rich man will marry my daughter. So my daughter uh, and me will become rich. He starts spending a lot of money. He takes a lot of money on loan, borrows money. Starts throwing everything, showing off, doing everything, and the last he gets to know that his daughter was trying to marry the boy rich man, but the rich man will not marry the daughter because he has found about one more affair of daughter. So how he has to pay back all the loans in the background of Irish conditions? Juno the Peacock is a classic for Irish literature. Make sure you read that; it's very important. Second book by the same writer, The Plow and the Stars. and silver tessy all of these works are very very important next one is henrik ibsen you all know henrik ibsen is a norwegian writer but norwegian writer he is fine like we can take him in the world literature writer because he is from norway but we do not take a lot of writers from norway so just reading norwegian literature just for one writer cannot be justified so what we do we connect gb shaw and henrik ibsen as they are the fathers of modern drama dealing with a uh, problem please so technically henrik ibsen was far better than gb shaw gb shaw is also not less than henrik ibsen so we can compare them so henrik ibsen's famous work doll's house obviously is very important hedda gabler hedda gabler is the story of a girl she is ma wrongly married in a family and how she survives how she fights back how many of you know that hedda gabler is also called female hamlet write it if your new students write it sharvani bahut badhiya mujhe bada acha lagta hai apne students ko dekh ke jab wo aise bata de yes sharvani has told me one more work which is very important yes that's enemy of the people where there is some mr dr stone stockholms kuch naam hai enemy of the people this man knows that the water is polluted people are drinking the water which is not clean people will die he goes to everyone and realizes that while helping everyone he has become the enemy of the people and people don't care people don't give a damn so that's very important thing that you read this also very important read hedda gabler read dolls house read enemy of the people if you want to read wild duck you can read also wild duck pad sakte ho acha work hai kafi acha work hai peter zain bhi acha work hai but at least don't forget dolls house enemy of the people hedda gabler and ghost unbelievable stories then we go for gb show as it's a small session i am also going for a mock interview session for rpsc students so uh, for gb show i'll directly give you the works gb show before i start about him he is the only writer to win nobel award and oscar award he won oscar for my fair lady my fair lady was a movie based on his one of his classic book pygmalion for all the new students pygmalion is very important for you also connect it to pygmalion myth then read arms and the man connect it to the ideal hero worship the heroism the glamour of army war and they may ask you that who a chocolate cream soldier ye pad lo man and superman please connect the last act don juan in hell and also read this thing that you know uh, 
what do we call it the uh, life force theory that's very very important along with these things don't forget to read major barbara candida mrs warren's profession heartbreak house you know heartbreak house was a dedication to russian writer it is called a fantasia written in russian manners along with these things when you complete gb show and you read all of these things remember he has written 2 lakh plus letters 2 lakh se zyada letters likhe hain and he said that villain in my plays are not on the stage they are among the audience to ye gb show hai and yes it's a small session because uh, in my next session i will discuss virginia wolf james joyce ds lawrence henry james uh, eats ordin you know w beats is amazing i have fell in love with w beats i must tell you why uh, as i take upsc or classes i also teach for upsc so upsc gave me chances to go in the depth of you no know, deep reading of w beats he just you know i just feel like w beats ko mujhe gale lagane ka mun kar i feel like hugging him he's just unbelievable um, amazing writer so i'll be teaching with all these writers that i'll go for post moderns these are the free sessions subscribe the channel and those who are preparing in a proper structured way they should simply contact the office because wahan structured way hai and the other ones those who are not willing to join or cannot join subscribe this at least yahan se bhi ideas milenge today only you got a lot of writers subscribe this channel make sure you write down everything if you have any questions from modern literature ask in the comment box i personally answer comment box मेरे कमेंट बॉक्स के रिप्लाई मेरे ही होते हैं मेरे टीम के आंसर नहीं करते आई डू इट तो वेन एवर आई एम फ्री आई एम लाइंग डाउन आई एम वॉचिंग टी वी आई ओपन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड आई स्टार्ट आंसरिंग फॉर ऑल द वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन इन कमेंट बॉक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन कॉल एट फाइव एट सेवन जीरो थ्री फाइव एट टू सेवन एंड येस डेट हैज बीन एक्सटेंडेड एज आई टोल्ड यू दे के नॉट कंडक्ट एग्जाम इन द फर्स्ट वीक और सेकेंड वीक ऑफ जून why am i right because i don't make guesses i go for facts so all those who are saying that we are lying we are doing fabrication tell them that he is vinith pandey he speaks on facts okay thank you so much